Hi guys and welcome back to another video. So, in the past I was working on a lot of animations and I was really struggling to see how could I make the camera twist and of course I always failed, I tried some things but it was not as good. So the solution uh, was actually quite simple and I figured it out like a few days ago so let me show you. We're gonna make a quick scene by adding the ground plane and let's put any material on it like this aluminium okay and we are gonna add one cube this cube yeah this size is okay now when we go to animation and we for example we set the camera, let's say add new camera, camera 1, lock it and we go animation wizard, camera animation, we have orbit it goes around the object, zoom it doesn't work well, <laughs> inclination goes up and down following the center, translation you know what it is, panorama you know you already know all of these so in order to get the camera twist that is not here we kinda need to work around this so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna add add geometry, add cylinder now this cylinder, let's exit this camera and let's get back to free camera this cylinder is gonna be let's, let's rotate it like this, 90 degrees and we can move it like here for example <laughs> click OK now when we get back to our camera yeah let's rotate this uh, cylinder like this this cylinder is here because it's gonna be our pivot point so it's minus 45 and I'm gonna put it on set on zero, okay. We don't have to save camera one. Now, let's see how we can do this twist. First, what we're gonna do this cylinder is like I said, it's gonna be used as a pivot point. So, all the models we have in our scene, such as ground plane and cube, let's say you have something else, let's say you have 10 of these make sure to just group these um, add to group, I'm gonna say group number one, ok and click ok ok and now when we go to animation what we're gonna select in animation wizard is actually a rotation and we're gonna say a rotation for group number one next and we are gonna say let's say the exit should be I think X or Z we'll see that original I mean yeah local axis and for the pivot we're gonna pick this cylinder as you can see we rotated this cylinder so that uh, axis of the cylinder is looking at us and ok and let's say yeah it's 90 degrees finish I'm gonna s put it to 2 seconds and let's see ok so this is the wrong axis so let's click here and say set nope in the end it's actually epsilon or y so as you can see this is now uh, imitating camera twist now for example if you want uh, this twist let's say that your camera switched and you for example moved like this now as you can see here azimuth says let's put it to minus hundred and now as you can see animation it's not really twisting in the way that would that you would like this is more like a inclination so all you gotta do now 
is take the cylinder and rotate it to be at 10 degrees because 90 plus 10 is 100 and here we have minus 100 like in all of my videos my phone is always ringing yeah so as you can see now uh, the pivot uh, position has changed and therefore the camera twist changed also what you can do here is of course say like minus 90 if you wanna go in a different direction you can say less degrees and let me see if I wanted to say something else yeah if you for example if you don't want this camera twist to be uh, this centered you can move this cylinder for example here and it's gonna give us different results of course when you finish up animation you just hide the cylinder and your scene is ready to go for the rendering so yeah I hope this was useful and yeah it was quite simple and that's what I like about this solution see ya in some of my next videos